If you want to build the best team in Madden and need some coins, make sure to check out my sponsor AOA for the cheapest, most reliable coins in Madden 22 and use code NOBLE at checkout for 3% discount. Link is in the description. He is Pitt Cooper. Off to the races for the touchdown. Prescott take it off. On Thomas Michael Gallup. What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is another Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you see right here, I have the Dallas Cowboy theme team activated already. Our defense is 92, our offense is 89, and we're 90 overall. I was able to successfully get all the players that we need to upgrade the team fully. I wasn't gonna upgrade the team fully at first, but then I was like, you know what, I could do this. I have 295K coins which is not bad i could continue to stack them up right but the major thing was what about if dak prescott drops on sunday when they supposed to have two limiteds dropping from the most feared promo you know i'm hoping that they drop a dak prescott i don't really see it coming because they already talked about andrew i, I want to say talked about andrew luck but they actually showed it a little bit so we, we don't know who's gonna who, who they're gonna drop but i don't see them dropping two qbs they can but I'm still hopeful that they might drop a Dak Prescott, but I'm not going to sit here and keep on waiting. But if they do, I most likely I'm not going to be able to purchase them for 285, 95 coins. He's probably going to be going for a mil or so. But what I done was I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the players and, and start doing some gameplay for you guys. Cause I know you guys are waiting for this update. However, you see right here, I got 8,827 training. I'm going to keep that. So if they do drop a Dak Prescott, he's going to be over a 90 overall. At least we'll be able to power him up as far as we can, all the way up into the card. So I'm going to be happy with that if they do drop it. We're able to do a lot of things to successfully power up this team. So as you can tell right here, we got everybody so far when it comes to the Cowboy players that they released. We got Broderick Thomas. I actually bought his limited, right? It says now, but I bought his limited because it's the equivalent of powering him up. So he has the Cowboy Kim, everything on him and so forth. We're going to be going through all these cards. I was able to get, where is he at? Malik Collins, fully power up, Jay Ratliff, and Everson Griffin, I got for free. And I'm going to show you guys in a minute how I got them free. But let me go over all these guys' stats and abilities and everything else that they got. Because I know you guys are going to want to know how they're looking on the fully Dallas Cowboy theme team. So let's go over here. X-Factor wise, Broderick Thomas gets Fearmonger. Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Zone Hawk, Shutdown, Run Stuffer, Avalanche, Momentum Shift, and Southwest. Right, he's a 94 overall. He actually has Blue Kims to a 95. His position is a right outside linebacker. He gets left outside linebacker, left in, and I think right in. I have him as a middle linebacker. That's why his, his overall is a little bit lower, but it's good enough to keep him as a middle linebacker. First tier abilities, he gets Homer, Indoor Baller, Adrenaline Rush, Mr. Big Stop, Extra Credit, Bogo, Spinner, Swim Club, Ripper, Stonewall, Reach Elite, Speedster, Clutch, Instant Rebate. Wow, he gets a lot. Unpredictable, Secure Tackler, Unfakeable, Under Pressure, Street Specialist, Second Win, and Recuperation. So he's still able to get more. Wow, he might he might be able to get. I'm pretty sure some of the other ones opened up. Let's see what else he get. Okay, so. Apparently, he's getting everything out. Whatever he got on the first tier, he's getting on the second tier. Third tier abilities. So, he's going to be able to get outmatched. Defensive rally. Double or nothing. No outsiders. Goal line stuff. Inside stuff. Edge threat. Al Toro. Enforcer. Reach Elite. Speedster. Tackle Supreme. Stonewall. And then all the other abilities he got on the first and second tier. Oh, and then he gets out of my way. I don't know why they always put out of my way down, way down here but they have it right there in adrenaline rush okay so if the kims he gets for the team kims is he gets cowboys uh vikings detroit lions and tampa bay positions he gets is left outside linebacker right in left in i put left outside linebacker because we already got robert quinn as a right outside linebacker as our second so i put broderick thomas as a sef second left outside linebacker and then i put him back as a middle linebacker because he don't get middle linebacker kim and i want to make sure he keeps his kim Fawn art, he gets all these different fawn arts. He don't get cowboy fawn art, which is you know very upsetting to me, but it is what it is. I keep what he already has on. Now his attributes. 
So as a middle linebacker, he goes up to a 93. But as a right outside linebacker and left outside left linebacker, he goes up to a 94. I mean, 95 with blue Kims, his overall at least. So he has 92 speed, 95 acceleration, 90 strength, 94 tackle, 90 play rate, 95 block shed, 94 power move, and 71 finesse move, which is finesse move is very low. He comes in at 6'4". Strength is 90. Acceleration, 95. Awareness, 89. Jumping is 92. All right. Change of direction, 86, which is actually good. Anything else? His man coverage zone is 74, 52. Not that bad. He's more of a pass rusher. He's not. He's not a coverage guy. But you guys already know I'm gonna be using him as a coverage guy. I really don't. I, I use him as rush and cover. It really don't matter to me. But here he is as as the left outside linebacker. He goes up to a 90, 90 overall. If he was a left end or right end, let's see what his overall would be. So because I know you guys are gonna ask me. So at that, he's a 90 overall. So he went down a few overalls. But as as a as a left end or right end, he's probably gonna be. Well, he's as a left end right there. He's a 90, and as a right end, let's make sure he's gonna be a 92. Okay, so he's gonna be a 90 as a right end. So that, that's cool. But we don't need a right end because we already got a right end. But I just want to show you guys that. Now we our our old our D line, our our secondary is great. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna start with Efferson Griffin. He is fully powered up. So let's check out his X factors and abilities. Fearmonger, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Blitz, Relentless, Run Stuffer, Momentum Shift, and Southless. First tier abilities, Adrenaline Rush, BOGO, Extra Credit, Mr. Big Stop, Indoor Baller, Homer, Spinner, Swim Club, and Ripper. Second tier abilities. So he's going to get everything he got on the first tier abilities. I'm going to see anything, anything extra. Spinner, he's going to be able to get Recuperation. So... Nothing major on the second tier. Third tier abilities, he's going to get a lot more. Defensive rally, double or nothing, edge threat, inside stuff, goal line stuff, El Toro, no outsider, speedster, clutch. So this is what he's getting on the second tier. Oh, he's actually getting quite a bit out of my way. Okay. Third tier. Oh, that was a third tier. That was third tier abilities. Team Kim, he's going to get Minnesota Vikings, Detroit Lions, and then Dallas Cowboys. Fawn Art. The best one is going to be the most feared. And then his power-up. He don't have a card? I thought he had actually a gold. He didn't have a gold card? Wow. He must have not had a gold card. I'm assuming that they brought him back to the NFL. Wow. So that, that's only his only card. Fawn Art. But look at his speed, though, as a right in. He's coming in with 90 speed. 91 acceleration. 92 strength. 89 tackle. 89 play wreck. I mean, 86 play wreck. 89 block shed, 90 power move, and 83 finesse move. Catching is 52, which is actually good. The catching is actually pretty decent for a lineman, right? So he can. I can put him as a spy, and he can be able to uh, get some interceptions for us. But anyways, these are all his other abilities. Man in zone, 31, 37. Not too bad, you know. Hit power is 87, which is good. Tackle is 89, so pretty decent. So just in case if you guys ask, how's he looking as a right end? Let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. So he's going to be 90 as a right end. Just one overall down. So that's, that's not bad. He's a 91 right now. So that's not bad. Defense tackle is not really going to matter because we already have him as his, we already have our defensive tackles. But if you guys want to know, he's an 84 as a defensive tackle. Just in case you guys want to ask him, which is actually pretty good. So now let's, we're going to start off with Ratliff. Because he's the first one right there. Now let's look at his X factors and abilities. Fearmonger, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Blitz, Relentless, Run Stuffer, Momentum Shift, and Southless. First tier abilities. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through. Just showing you guys real quick what he gets. Just so you guys know. So he has to get great reach release, stone wall. So he gets actually pretty some good ones. Stretch specialist, unpredictable. Second tier abilities. So he's gonna get all the same ones he got on the first tier on the second tier. Nothing new. Now the third tier, you usually get a little bit more like defensive rally, double or nothing, edge threat. So he got Toro. So he gets actually gets quite a bit. Pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on him, but you know if I do, I'll let you guys know when I do a gameplay. So he gets a Dallas Cowboy cam as well as Chicago Bears. That's where he's at right now. And then these are the fun arts he gets. That's it. A power up and then a team of the week. Wow. Oh, now let's go to the attributes. I almost forgot. I was about to skip his attributes. Now let's go to his attributes. 
74 speed is not that fast, but I still think he's going to be very effective because of his other abilities, which is his 95 acceleration, 95 strength, 90. So everything's in the 90s. 92 play rec, 94 block shed, 94 power move, 91 finesse move, which is goonish. Goonish. Uh, I didn't say that right. But anyways, 6'4", 303 weight, which is a big old dude out there. 75 jumping. Jumping's not all that, but still, though, it's, no, it's still decent. Stamina 93, change of direction 78. It's funny. All right. So these are all those other. Okay. So pretty good. Pretty good. Now we're gonna see how he plays online, full version. I was what I was gonna do originally was just see if you just power them up and you don't actually. And I wanna I wanna clarify if you just power these two defensive tackles up and don't um, don't add their card in. Just power them up as far as they can until they reach the card. Just so you guys know, they still get the Dallas Cowboy cams. The first slot you open is for the team cam. So they will get the team cam. So you don't need to fully power them up and add the card in it to get the team cam. So I was going to do that originally, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just buy it. I'll be able to stack enough coins. So if Dak Prescott does get a card, I will be able to purchase him. But I didn't have to though, but I did just for you guys. So just to let you guys know that if you guys want to just power them up and add, even if it's just a... If you guys just want a couple elite, you don't even have to fully power them up to the highest one, but just a couple overalls higher, you, you guys will still be able to do it with the team cam, just to let you guys know that. So it's still a win. So Malik Collins, X Factors, Fear Monger, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Blitz, Relentless, Run Stuffer, Momentum Shift, and Southless. First tier ability does just go through them. This is what he gets on the first tier. Not too bad second tier what else okay so it gets a little bit more on the second tier just to open it up so it's pretty decent actually it gets quite a bit more on the second tier swing club spinner speech to recuperation third tier should be getting a lot more right yeah okay so defensive rally double or nothing. so basically they get a lot of all the defensive tackles when they once they reach night overall they get quite a bit unless they get like enforced or something like that then it will be kind of new but i still like showing you guys because i know some of you guys you guys, you guys have questions. Some of you guys don't like to go online and look up things. You guys just you want to watch the video and it's all put out for you. So I like to show you guys everything just so you guys don't have to do all that, you know, especially running the Cowboy theme team. I want to be able to show you guys everything. So he gets Cowboy Kim, Raider Kim, and also Houston Texan Kim. So these are his fun arts. He gets heavyweights. He gets, you know, his power up version. And then he also, he actually has a gold. So he gets his gold version. His attributes, his speed's going to be a lot faster than Ratliff. He got 83 speed, which is very decent. 91 acceleration, 91 strength, 89 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 block shed. His power moving and all that, but his finesse move is actually decent, which is 92, which is actually a big win. Um, coming out 6'2", and he's 310 pounds. Wow, he's a big dude. Um, agility, uh, 81, which is not all that, but you know, it is what it is. 90 awareness, 84 jumping. So that's, wow, he has... He, Big difference in compared to Ratliff, so that's actually pretty decent. So we actually, you know, they're both a big win, you know. But we, of course, we will, we will always want those stats to be better. He got 87 hit power, so that's actually pretty good. So them are them are the attributes there. So them are going to be the four new players that we got. Everson, which is a lot. Everson Griffin, Ratliff, Malik Collins, Broderick Thomas. I could have got all these guys. These all these guys came out different. Like Broderick Thomas came out different. Malik Thomas came out at a different time. So I could have did a video on each of them, but I was being safe because I had to save the coins, had to plan it all out and make sure that I had enough. I waited to the day I was able to get the training and everything else in order to fully power up this squad. And the reason I was able to do that because I completed some of the most fear objectives, which I got an auctionable most fear card, a 90 overall. I quick sold it for the training. I got one through playing the yard, so I got another one. I completed all the objectives. I com I got the nap version, which I was able to get Everson Walls. I mean, Everson or Walls, Everson Griffin for completing the yard objectives. The nap version of him, I got him. Then I got an auctionable card, which I quick sold it for training. So because I waited to the day, it was actually more effective because I was able to power up all the players and still have coins. So it worked out. But anyways, that's the video we're here. This is, I keep on going back and forth just to show you guys the fully part of Dallas Cowboy theme team. I still knew need Leo Collins, and I could I could I could go get Byron Jones, but they're way too much. I'm not gonna I don't have the coins for all that. When they go down, I go buy them. But the, I'm happy with what I have right now. And if Dak Prescott does drop, 
I have enough training to power them up as far as I can until I'm able to actually add the card. But I will be stacking up more coins and I will be actually adding Prescott to the squad once we get him and I have the coins to do it. But if, like I said, he were to drop this second, at least I have the training to power him up to get him over a 90, which I'll be happy with. But anyways, there it is there. There's the fully powered up Dallas Cowboy theme team. If you guys like seeing what you've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need subs, subs to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.